The problem of inequality in physical activity is a major issue because it can lead to significant disparities in health outcomes and quality of life. We know that women do less physical activity than men and some groups of women have even fewer opportunities. And for mums, that often means that mothering practices push out physical activity practices and make it really hard for them to take part. My research is all about understanding and unpicking those relationships and particularly thinking about the role of marketing in creating more equal environments for people to take part in physical activity. This project was managed by Bristol City Council and it was funded by Sport England as part of the This Girl Can project and Bristol Girls Can was all about supporting mums with preschool children in the most deprived parts of Bristol to get involved in physical activity in some way. So we spent a lot of time trying to understand the everyday realities of life from the mothers who told us a huge amount of detail about their relationships with physical activity. Our research showed us that mothers often have a really, really poor relationship with physical activity. There's a lot of pressure from society to take part. One of the other findings was that a number of factors need to be in place. Mothers need to have the right amount of support, they need to have the right amount of time and the right kind of time, and they need to have the right energy to take part. And those things are quite complicated. The emphasis on bodies was much stronger than I had anticipated. So they pitted their own bodies against this imaginary exercising body who was successful and disciplined and effortless. And clearly there was significant conflict in mother's relationship with physical activity as an imagined activity. And that came through so strongly in our data. The mothers overwhelmingly wanted to see women that represent or look like them on the promotional imagery rather than fitness models. A focus more around fun or small steps within the messaging to help alleviate the pressures they felt to take part. And they wanted to feel part of a community to help support them and build their confidence. The mothers who did take part in the research, many of them ended up becoming part of our steering group and even taking part in the photo campaigns. The same mothers often had a very positive, strong, trusting relationship with children's centres and children's centre staff. Now those children's centres offer buggy walks, um, boogie disco sessions, toddler yoga and a range of other activities that mums can take part in during their normal routine which already involves spending time in the children's centres in their community. Fiona's research was crucial for this campaign. The social media campaign had a reach of over 100,000 and it consisted of sharing the women's stories to targeted groups in the communities that we were trying to reach. And their stories and images were created into billboards and bus shelters and posters that were then circulated and marketed in those areas of greatest health inequalities. This was really beneficial because it meant that the women who appeared in the campaign could be seen locally by people they knew and this was hugely successful. We also built a new website which focused on the women's stories and signposting women to physical activities that they could easily do with or without their children in the local area. There is evidence mums are enjoying these activities. They feel safe, they feel nurtured and supported in those environments. And we really have the opportunity to develop something that can positively impact the lives of women in Bristol. I do also hope that the findings and the academic papers that I've written will continue to inform policy approaches to encouraging physical activity, particularly in groups who are traditionally excluded, to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to take part in healthy, enjoyable, joyful experiences that involve active leisure and physical activity. Thank you.